What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Situation we got right now is uh, we just had the biggest cold front we've had so far this year come through. It is by far the coldest day of the year. And uh, I mean, honestly, 25 mile an hour winds out of the north. Did you almost fall? Yeah, I almost fell. You good? It's bad. Yeah. You shouldn't text and drive. 25 mile an hour, 25 mile an hour winds out of the north, huge temperature drop. But anybody who watches us knows us. We got to go fishing. And uh, it's a perfect time to grab a bucket with some shrimp. Go try to find some sheephead. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do today. We got our family friend Kean Sherrard with us. So I probably shouldn't have said your last name, Kean. Are you you good with saying your last care. name? Yeah. Do I have your permission? There's people yeah. watching. Can we put you on camera? <laughs> yep. Okay. Alright, so Kean's good. He's in. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go try to catch some sheephead. It should be, it should be on. And uh, one more thing before we get get going. Uh, I don't know which video is coming out first, but we put in a couple videos. Yeah. We do have gift certificates available for the holidays. We say Merry Christmas at our house, but Happy Holidays, whatever. Um, we do have gift cards available, and we are running a special until the end of the year, December 31st. Buy two, get one free, and. There is, uh, those are four hour charters. There's no restrictions on them. There's no uh, expiration dates. They're just fishing trips. So you can split them up. You can give them to neighbors, give one to whoever. I mean, you can do what you want with them. You, keep all, you can be greedy and keep all three for yourself. That's what Jake would do. Yeah. He probably wouldn't even take me as his guest. Definitely. Would you? Yeah. Some anyway. days. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's enough of that, but get your gift cards. You can email us through our website. You can call me and uh, and we can get you worked out over the phone. Text me, whatever works best for you, and we'll get you taken care of. So with that, let's go see if the sheep are biting. Let's get to it. Okay, we're running. We are running. What are you doing there, Jake? Tying up my little rod. Your little rod? Lose speed spool 1k. Let's see if we can do some damage. So you're tying up. Kean's tying up. Golly, dude. Sure. You just hit the people in the face. All right. You're tying up. Kean's tying up. Guess what? It's one thing you boys will learn as you get older. Be prepared. I tied up earlier. So I'm ready to go. So let's see. We're going to take a delicious little shrimp. Let's see what's down here this morning. Looking for sheephead, reds, trout. It's cold. I'm looking for anything that bites right now. I'm not, I'm not extremely picky today. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I see one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, like 10 giants. Let's see if they want to eat this morning. Oh my goodness. Giants, dude. Just saw a redfish belly roll right here, Jake. On the bottom, yeah. Oh man. There you go, that's the right kind. That's the right kind, Kean. Look at you with the first one. It's not a bad one. Hold him up and let us see. Oh, he came off. Good job, Kean. It's the right kind, dude. And that fish is probably a keeper, man, but I really try not to keep anything that's close. You know what I mean? I mean, he's going to make it, but we're going to let him go anyways. Look at those teeth on that guy. But uh, we're going to let that guy go because there's some bigger ones down there. Good job, brother. First one. Oh, the old, the old bridge release. That's always... I hate that. There you go. Not a big one, but the right kind. Yeah. Sheeper. It's a baby sheephead. I promise there's some bigger ones down there. Look at the <laughs> grill on that guy. Look at that, dude. Hook teeth. Oh, man. The little hook got him good. 
buddy. Give me my hook back, and I will let you swing free. There we go. So where sometimes they break those hooks. There's a sheep head. Get out of here. Not a bad Freedom. release either for the bridge release. And I just want a sheep head right now. I'm sure you're gonna get one. I sure hope so. There's a bunch of them down there. Just gotta get this tied up. Bet you there's a big one go off. We're starting. There he is, Jake. There's there a big is. one. There you go, Jake. On the little rod. There you go, Jake. There's a big one. Heads up, Ken. Heads up. Big fish, dude. On the little rod. Nice, that's a stud. Yeah. That was that one. That was inches. on that fancy bait too. Yeah, it was on a crab. Mm-hmm. Let's pick hey, let me get a picture of you that one, Jake. Alright. There you go, Ken. You got something figured out on that pole over there. Huh? Said you got something figured out on that pole over there. No, Jake, uh-uh. <laughs> can't do that. You're gonna stick with your pole. Go over here, man. Show the camera, no! Oh, Tian. Tian. You were facing over the bridge. We saw it. It's all right. We saw it. The people know. Just from a distance. The people know. Chief <laughs> There you go. There's a good one. Finally got a hook in a good one. It's a keeper. Hook fell out. These are some <laughs> tough fish to get a hook in, dude. Probably 14 inches, 15 inches. See how, and it's bad to show kind of probably, but see how the hook actually knocked his tooth out? Because those teeth are so, those teeth are so tight together, you kind of got to get a light wire hook to get between them. I lost two bigger than this minute. Though. But, keeper's keeper. In the bucket he goes. In the bucket. Nice. All right. I hear it. I hear it. I the see hammer. it too. That's a big one. Coming over. Oh yeah. There you go. That's a good one. That's what we came for. Nice That's one. what we came for. If you've never had sheep head, sheep head are delicious. They're pretty tough to catch other than during the winter. And this guy got it good, but I'm gonna show you guys then we'll get the hook out of him. Also known as poor man's lobster. Uh, some people call them convict fish because you can see the stripes on them and they are bait thieves. They will steal your bait. They're, uh, you gotta go really small on your tackle for sheephead, but fun fight and delicious. And that's, that's nice. three, that's a good one. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Come on, Keegan. There he is. How about that? Is that one that I was targeting on that pole? Huh? I said, that's that one that I was targeting on that pole. Yeah. Yeah, it's even better when you can sight cast them. That's a good fish. Yeah, he's a keeper. Dude, he didn't even get hooked in the mouth. He got hooked outside his top lip. He got hooked where? Outside his top lip. Not a legal catch. BASS rules state. <laughs> Gotta be inside the mouth. That's a, a large one. Big one? Oh, guys, they are flopping over the sides now. Yes, sir. Another good one. So you caught that fish on the outside of the mouth? Yeah. Okay. So like I said, BASS rules <laughs> state that if the fish is not hooked inside the mouth, it is not a legal catch. Yeah. Well. So I'm sure you want to count that fish, but you guys let us know in the comments, should Jake be allowed to count that fish? Because I say no. I don't know what the disclaimers are on sheephead. Well, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if it's any species that's not caught on the inside of the mouth, Oh, ooh. Uh -huh. They got some fins on them too. Yeah. Bucket of sheep head. There he is. Got him? 
Yeah, he's decent. This isn't the one I was looking at, I don't think. It's a little guy. Yeah. There's a bunch of them over here, though. Huh? I said there's a bunch of them over here, though. This ain't the big one, but... I hope that's not the big one you were talking about. No, there's a big one down there. He looked like he was about twice as big. That's the one that's going to hit that little pole and going to show you what it's about. Decent sheephead. I'm not going to keep him there. He's probably close, but he looks small. There he is. There he is. Oh, dude. Yeah. That one was definitely a keeper. Huh? I said that one was definitely a keeper. There you go. That's a slab. Dude, he's inside the mouth. Look at that. Look at him, dude. He's freaking out. I ain't never seen one. Huh? Look at him, though. I'm, yeah, he's caused some damage right there. Yo, keeper, sheeper. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, he's a keeper. Day. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. Just so everybody knows, the sheep head limits are. 12 inches 12 with inches. a pinch tail, total yeah. length, and it's eight per person per day. So when you get on them, you can you can put some food in the freezer real quick. Good job, Jay. Thanks, man. There he is. Yeah. Oh no. Bad flip. Dude, my nose is running like crazy. Huh? My nose is running like crazy. Yeah, I, do, I know this video is just gonna be like me sniffing the whole time. Dad's on. All right, you think we got enough? Yeah. So now it's catch and release unless it's a giant? Yeah. yeah, yeah we got unless enough. it's like a PB or something. We got enough for us and Ken and Nick family and the neighbor lady. Huh? Last one going in the box. Nice. All right, guys. So, Kian did catch one when the camera was off. Hold it up and show everybody, Kian. Just for proof. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the video here. We've got a bucket full of sheep head. And uh, I think we're going to bounce around and do some different stuff in different areas and maybe get another video doing doing some low tide fishing. Yeah. But uh, so that's it. It is sheep head time of the year. If you want to book a trip for sheep head, the information's at the end of the video. Also, like I said in the intro, um, right now until December, are we going to do it till Christmas? We'll do it to the end of the year, till yeah. December 31st. Um, we, you can purchase gift cards through us. We can email you the gift cards. Just contact us. It's buy two, get one free. Can't let that poor fish go. Man. We're drying him out up here. It's uh, right now until the end of the year, it's buy two, get one free. So you purchase two four-hour trips, you get a, a third one free. There is no expiration dates on them. There is no uh, no limits as far as species. You can use them during tarpon season. You can use them whenever you want to use them. Um, and you can spread them out. You can give them to a friend. You can keep them all for yourself. You can buy them for a gift. Uh, so make sure if you're interested in that, you get with us. Thank you. And uh, until next time, guys, we really appreciate everybody watching. God bless everybody out there, and we'll see you guys on the water.